I am Eric Carr, your success concept, and today we're going to talk about public speaking, the benefits, and most importantly, how to overcome your fear of it. Now, for many individuals out there, public speaking is their number one fear. They fear that even more so than death. So imagine yourself, you're at a funeral. People would rather trade places with the person lying up front than to be the person standing there talking about that individual. Now, even though we live in a virtual world where a lot of things are getting done online, the movers and shakers are still getting together in person and making things happen. So mastering the skill of public speaking is going to be beneficial to you in a number of ways. Number one, it's going to help you be more confident. It's going to help you in your business as well as your professional career. You're going to always be interviewing, always be presenting, and always be closing. It's going to make you a better communicator. Now check out my video where I talk about the quality of your communication determines the quality of your life. It's going to also help you with your interpersonal skills. It's going to make you be more engaging, help you work on those soft skills, and help you be even more influential. So I'm going to give you five tips on how to overcome your fear of public speaking. Let's get started. Number one, know your content. Content is king. The most important thing is the content. You master that and you're going to be even more confident in your speech. It's also going to make you comfortable because you know exactly what you're talking about. And then the other thing is, it's going to make you an expert. People like to listen to, pay attention to, and learn from experts. So master content. Content is king. Number two, know your audience. You want to craft your speech to your audience, whether it's your appearance, your visuals, uh, your speech, your tone, your vocabulary. All of that has to be crafted to your audience. Uh, it's a lot different speaking to a group of college students than it is to a group of seasoned business professionals. So match your content with your audience. Number three, visual aids. Uh, so you should always have visual aids, whether that be a video, a PowerPoint, uh, something physical in the room, charts, graphs, or even you. Yes, you. You can be the visual aid. Check out my video on uh, body language and how to master that and the secrets to learn more about that. But make sure you have a visual aid because some people learn by hearing, some people learn by seeing, and some people learn by both. So by having a visual aid, you'll be able to master and serve both of those individuals who may be in the room. Number four, a safe individual in the room. I always coach individuals to have safe people in the room. But what I mean by that is uh, when you're talking or speaking, you want to look around and engage the room. Now, sometimes individuals may be a little bit nervous about that. They don't want to get the depth there. So I say position people strategically throughout the room. You may have someone to the left, someone to the center, and someone to the right. Now, those individuals there, they're going to not only make it easier for you to look around and engage, but they're going to help coach you. And what do I mean by that? They're going to give you hand signals or gestures or looks. So they may look at you and do like this, and that means get to the point, speed it up. They may do something like this, slow down, calm down, or they may give you the thumbs up. But those individuals will help you look around, be engaging, but also help you make sure that your speech is on point and you're going in the right direction and flowing with it. And number five, practice. Yeah, we're talking about practice. Repetition is the mother of skill. So the better, more you do it, the better you're gonna be. And there's a couple ways you can practice. Uh, you can practice doing this in the mirror. Uh, some individuals like to use stuffed animals, pets, or children. Uh, you can also practice with a safe audience. And there's also organizations like Toastmasters where you'll get opportunities to practice, learn, be critiqued, and better your skills. So the last thing is practice. So those are the five tips to help you be better and get over your fear of public speaking. Number one, know your content. Number two, know your audience. Number three, have a visual aid. Number four, have safe people throughout the room. And number five, practice. What are your thoughts on that? I'd love to hear your feedback on how you feel about public speaking and some things that's helped you. If you like this type of content, like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss any of the content I put out. I am Eric Carr, your success concierge, providing you the vision, tools, and opportunity for your desired success.